Hello everyone, I am Lezrin. Welcome back to Path of Exile. Playing the Templar, and today, 26, quite a bit of uh, strength and intelligence. Need some more intelligence on this guy, I think. Since, especially since I'm doing more spell damage than anything. But uh, today, we're going to hunt for some stone altars. I've kind of somewhat organized these, at least in uh, rarity. Not so much in level or anything like that, but first of all, we need to find a stone altar. Done a little bit of research. Kind of need to go back to one of these areas. There's quite a few areas. I mean, it basically has to be outside, and from what it sounds like, anything that is more or less uh, like ruins, has ruins in it, has a, chan a higher chance, I should say, to spawn those, so... I was kind of thinking maybe going to the mud flats because it's pretty easy to run around it it's gonna be low level and honestly all I need to do is find that stone altar so let's do this let's run to the mud flats should be pretty close yep and hopefully we get lucky but that's gonna be today's episode try to find one of these and Hopefully get some of these talismans converted. There's about two days left in this. That is my new skill. I don't think I've seen that one yet. It's the first time I've actually been able to use it. The Molten Shell. This is a very low level area. I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore everything. I just wanna find the stone altar. Tala Moana, worry. I might do this. Oops. Do a quick thing. You are a welcome sight, warrior. He wants me to run in there and kill stuff, so I'm not gonna do that real quick. Shouldn't take very long. But this is kind of a rare thing to I don't know if it's rare to spawn, but I haven't seen him here yet, so let's go ahead and do this. Just gonna kill find the spirit. Run it back to him. Might do like a quick thing. See if I can find it. Well, that's a new mob. One hit. Got love coming to lower levels. Out of the way. There's what we're after. Grab it. And get out of here. Went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Grab that orb. Because it doesn't matter what level that is. Might kill a thing here and there just to get my flask recharged. Okay, and that's that. No bit of a distraction. The card we oh, that's good. And stop hitting me. Okay, just make sure. Item level does matter on the talisman. So, I mean, a talisman from this isn't going to work very well because it's only level four. So, that's the entrance. So far, I think this is a no-go. There we go. Flask recharged. A little bit of a stutter. Wow. Forgot how small this zone is. 
All right, let's run back. And if you control click on the on the doorway, it will generate a new zone for you. So control kit click. That's my old one. Don't want it. You've got 15 minutes before it resets. So let's go a new. Take a drink of coffee and move on. And that's what we came for. Let me just clear out the area. There we go. Wow, quality 16. Alright. So, stone altar. We have to submit five talismans. And I think I've mentioned it before, but each one adds a percentage in order to get of the same kind. So, and it does average out the item level. So, holding alt, you can actually see the item level. Some are higher than others. So, if I put... I think I've gone over this once before, but I'll go over it one more time. If I put five white items, I'm pretty much guaranteed a white item. I don't know if there's a very small chance to get upper tier, like, uh, magic. But... For each, like if I put four white items, and you can control click these in, so one, two, three, four, if I do that, and then one magic, this gives me 20% chance to get a magic item out of this. So, I was probably just going to use up my white ones, because I don't really care about them, just to get a higher tier level. And then I can, let's see, what item level are these? Two, six, two, six. So I want to average it out a little bit. <clears throat> Not by doing that. Okay, so let's go ahead and summon. It's pretty low level. It should get, it'll give us a guaranteed next tier level, but it'll most likely be guaranteed white item as well. Ah, that uh, different base types. Okay, so that's a lone antler, lone antler. Okay, actually need different ones. So that, and that are not what I need. That's a. Do I have an ash scale? Yes. Mandible. Bone spire. There we go. Should be average around. Probably seven. Seven or eight. And that's that. So I got a Fang Jaw Tier 2 Talisman. Among other things. Now I don't no beast of burden. I don't know, but I don't think the zone level matters. It's only the level of talisman you're using. So I didn't know you could only use this once. I thought you could use it more than once. So I guess we need to respawn it again. Well, okay, let's keep going. Now that is, where'd my tier two go? Tier two. I am going to move it over. Let's regenerate the zone. I think you can have more than one a zone, but that's probably extremely rare or almost unheard of. Zoom around a little bit.
Just gotta see if I can recharge my flask a little bit here and there. Sure. I'll probably find more flasks than I'm able to use up. Unfortunately. Doesn't look like there's one going to spawn in this one unless it's over in this area, but I've already gone through there, so let's go ahead and re re up the zone, try again. Be nice if it was right by the door again. Basically just going to pick those up so I can have a variety of them. Nothing else at the least. So I apologize if this is a little bit more of a boring episode. I might do this a little bit here and there and bring you back later kind of thing. But this is kind of what I'm, in, I'm gonna be doing. Apparently there's not one in this zone, so let's go ahead and get out of it, redo it. It's another good thing about uh, low level zones, you can just do this and refill your flasks as you need. Now this next time I'm probably going to maximize it because I don't know how long I'll do this, especially for just the crappier white ones, you know. So I want to see where I can go. And you can actually get into a boss fight by doing this. However, you have to have a tier 3, which is pretty much a grind to get to it. And I may not be high enough level to get to reach that anyway, so it's probably pointless to try. One down here. Nope. Basically just looking for it on the map at this point, kind of ignoring everything else. Okay, let's get out of here and redo it. I could do something along the lines of kind of go to that one entrance to this area and then basically just generate a new zone until I get one close to the the portal again but that's probably extremely rare to get and I'm pretty certain that was really really rare okay 
Okay, let's zoom out. Didn't mean to do it, but it works. Head to the middle, just see if one's there, and then I'll respawn it. Okay, so we've gotten one stone altar out of here. From what I understand, this one, this zone actually spawns them fairly regularly. Kind of surprised that I haven't found a second one. There we go. Now I could use the town portal, go back to town, and it'll refill your flasks every time kind of thing, but that is a huge waste of town portals, so I'm not going to do that. Now, if I can find that orange, uh, I guess that's a unique creature. It's kind of like the zone boss. If I can find that every time, that will refill my flasks whenever I destroy them. And it's a one shot, so. Doesn't look like I'm lucky in this one either. Nope. Okay, so let's do it again. Rinse and repeat. That uh, zone boss seems to be kind of in the same place up by that waterfall every time I've seen him. Yeah, I'm going to leave it there. It's low level. I'm not going to worry about it. I need to stop checking them anyway. Monstone altar. Who's the back? All right, gonna redo it again. And if this doesn't work, I might go somewhere else, honestly. Seems like every time this is here in the middle, it hasn't worked for me. Every time these stone formations are right next to the door. That's a theory, obviously. Nothing proving that. Good flash recharge. Ah.
Come on, game, show me the altar. Show me an altar. Might do it a couple times this time, we'll see. Is there a pillar? Well, well, no. Apologize if I'm lacking commentary, but uh, <laughs> not much to talk about. We're basically doing the same thing every time, so apologize for that again. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. There's one. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and just clear out the mobs. Not that they can hurt me. And they, you know... One hit wonders, but it's clearing out the mobs. Okay, let's do as high level as we can. So it's a uh, six. Let's see. Let's do ten. That's a carrion. Undying flesh is the talisman, though. So I don't have a lot of these. I'm gonna have to kind of do what I can. Luckily, Bone Spire, Deadhead, Break Rib. Actually, what level is that? Two? Six? I have. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Mandible. That's it. It's not going to be very high item level. I mean, I could average it out by putting some of these magic ones in there that are a lot higher item level. I might do that. Just kind of remove some of these really low, like... But that really lowers the odds as well. So maybe the lowest one, like this level 4. I can put a level maybe 24 in there. That's an antler. Do I have an antler? Inspire. Antler? Yeah, I can't do the antler. Salamander. Level 16, though. See if we can find a 20s. There we go. Bone Spire. I know I've got a Bone Spire in there. Yep. Kind of looking for a higher level. These are not magic. Okay, so. Talisman of the Lost. I could use one of those. Or the crystal. No, let's do the lost. 21. I'll probably get a magic one, you know. 80% chance to get a, a rare and a 20% chance to get a, a magic, but we'll see how it works. That will raise the it's tier 1. 
Okay, let's do it. And I got a rare. Nice. Oh, these things. Got a little range for you. There you go. Okay. The Woe Choker. That's a decent talisman. Put you over here with the other tier two. Didn't then get anything else out of it that was worth anything, so. Okay, that's pretty much what you do with these. Apologize if that was a little bit less of an episode as you were hoping for or expecting. But that's how life is sometimes. Didn't really want to go to Lion Eyes. It would be pretty intense to work on getting all these to Tier 3 and then getting five different Tier 3 talismans in order to spawn the boss. I don't know if I have that in me to do, so I'll probably just sell these or trade them later on or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I'm going to go ahead and head back to the other area. The Act 3. Forest Encampment. That's a decent talisman, though. It's a level 2 rare. I don't have enough on me to really get another good one. Let's see what skill level is it. It's item level 14. That's not horrible. It's less than what I've got. It's got spell damage, physical damage, plus one maximum energy shield, not really worth much. And I don't have any projectiles, so... For me, that is not that great of a talisman. Honestly, I'll probably just sell these. I could trade them to other players, but... I'm kind of doing like a self-found thing to where I'm not going to trade four items at least make it fast so there's that Let's see what do we get get a scroll fragment what about this one alteration shards how about all the white items because I don't really care about those I could use up a lot of uh, orbs or whatnot to get these into magic area and all that kind of thing, but I'm not going to do that either. I don't think it's worth it doing that. So all these white talismans will basically net me a three scrolls of wisdom. So I think that's worth it. Return if you must. So okay, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. I am Lezard. And I will see you next time. Have a good night.